Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, a nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, health, and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more knowledgeable, you are more and more in control of your body, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it's a renewing system. It is designed divinely to heal itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. It's a self-healing system. And while some folks may call the system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. Let us help you change your life today. If you're dealing with a health crisis or a health challenge, if you know someone who's dealing with a health crisis or a health challenge, we can help you. Our phone number is 844-236-6010, and we welcome your phone calls, 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, likewise, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the Bright Side. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products you hear advertised in the program or suggested or recommended, you can call the phone team, the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Make sure you ask about joining the team. The Bright Side Ben team, if you're interested in making a little bit of money, earning some thank you checks, getting your products at the wholesale price, joining the culture of health and wellness that is, long, uh, that is longevity, the family of health and wellness aficionados, people who understand that the body can be healthy, can be made to be healthier, can be encouraged and nurtured and sustained into health by using a good nutritional supplement program. That's what we're about. At Longevity, if it sounds good to you, if you're interested in joining the team, or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, please call the phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. Or you can head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and sign up right off the websites. You can also order any, any of the products that you're interested in. They're all up at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, thanks for joining us once again on the bright side. We're talking skin health. We'll be talking skin health for a little bit, for oh, I don't know, a week, week or two, in honor of the Truth Treatment products. My Truth Treatment products will be coming out here any day. We're talking about acne specifically and the misunderstandings associated with the treatment of acne. So tragic because, man, it doesn't seem like it's that serious, but it really is psychologically debilitating for teenagers. The, the worst time in your life to, to break out with pimples is when you're a teenager and you're so focused on being attractive to the opposite sex and you don't even really know how the whole thing works. And that's unfortunately, those are the folks who get acne for the most part, although the phenomena of adult acne is real and just as unfortunate. There's so many misunderstandings about acne. Yesterday we were talking about how the misunderstandings surrounding acne and really around skin health in general is the result of this illusory static appearance of the skin. You look at the skin, it doesn't look like much is happening there. But in reality, the skin is a, it's a, a, a veritable beehive of activity. Activity that occurs 24-7, every nanosecond of every day, every moment that we are alive, trillions upon trillions upon trillions of chemical reactions are occurring in the trillions of cells that are right under our noses, literally, on the skin, right where we're looking. Just look at your arm and try to picture all of the different chemical reactions that are occurring in this apparently homogenous, uniform organ. 
in addition to all the different cells, there are circul there's a circulatory system, there's a lymph system, there's molecular sponges that trap water, there's multiple layers. This is a complex, intricate, living, dynamic system that we're talking about here. Unless we recognize this, we are going to fall prey to marketing and advertising and claims from marketers and business people and bookkeepers and bankers and all the people who love to be in the skincare business because of the incredibly obscene profit margins. That's, what, that's my beef with bookkeepers and, and, and bankers in the skincare business. I'm a capitalist. I don't have a problem with bookkeepers and bankers necessarily. But when they're making claims about health, and that's really what beauty products are. They're health products. That's what skincare really is. It's health care. When somebody who doesn't understand anything about health tries to go out and market a health care product, that, that frosts me, man. That just ticks me off. That's not fair. I mean, we're innocent. We're gullible as consumers. We trust. And you got a bookkeeper or a banker or some, you know, a business person who's trying to sell a skincare product and doesn't have any idea what the skin is, telling us about their skincare product, how wonderful their cosmetics are, and then we rub the stuff on on top of our skin without even considering what we're doing to ourselves. That's a problem to me, as a healthcare professional and as a formulator, as a cosmetics and skincare formulator. I've been formulating for 30 plus years. We just rub the stuff on top of our skin without even considering what we're doing to ourselves and how our body's responding. The typical skincare product that most of us use is a complicated concoction of wax and oil and emulsifier and tap water and perfume and preservatives, and none of which you'd ever put on your skin if you were presented with them as individual ingredients. But somehow, when they're mixed together, we feel comfortable smearing them on ourselves in the hope of taking advantage of maybe a little tiny bit of active material, if there is any active material. It's usually on the order of a fraction of a percent. I saw a commercial yesterday for a product called Mederma. Now, Mederma is marketed as a SCAR product. They call it a SCAR cream. And this is the spin that you get when you hear the commercial. The product's called Mederma SCAR cream. So you'd be forgiven if you had a SCAR and you purchased this product because you want to get rid of your SCAR. But if you listen to the actual weasel words in the marketing material and the TV ads, the copy makes no mention of eliminating SCARs. They tell you instead that Mederma will make your SCARs look better. Now, what does that mean? How do you make a scar look better? But when you hear the tagline, their slogan, Mederma lets you move on from scars. Or uh, you can leave your scar behind. That's on the internet. That's on their website. You can leave the scar behind. Clearly, the implication is Mederma will make your scars go away. They don't say it literally, but the implication is there. This is what marketers do. They imply without saying, especially in the skincare business. They imply without saying. Doctors even recommend Mederma for uh, patient scars. In case you're wondering, Mederma is made with an onion extract. Onion extract, onion contains a, 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 a bioflavonoid a, a compound, a, a chemical compound, plant nutrient called quercetin. Quercetin is an anti-inflammatory. This is the logic to using Mederma. Quercetin is an anti-inflammatory. By keeping inflammation down, supposedly, you improve the appearance of scars. Onions are a very rich source of quercetin, which, as I say, is an anti-inflammatory, and this is theoretically the mechanism. Longevity's cell shield product, by the way, RTQ product, the Q stands for quercetin. So cell shield has quercetin. If you really want to get some, uh, if you really want to get the Mederma effects, take your cell shield and break open a capsule and add it to some coconut oil and put it right on your scar. I don't think it's going to work very well. I've never seen Mederma work very well, and I've been seeing patients on it now for since it came out probably 15, 15 years ago. I think it came out in the late 90s. So the point is, is that Mederma is not going to make your scar go away, but according to the manufacturer, it will make your scar softer, smoother, and less noticeable. It's not going to do anything for your scar, but it will soften it. It will reduce its appearance. What, what's craziness? Now, obviously, this is silly, but for a company to prey on people who have been scarred is really nasty business. To prey on the innocent and the gullible is just not fair. But the only reason it works, the only reason this kind of scammery works, is because we don't understand the skin. Scars are located in the dermis, in the lower areas of the skin. And when you account for the very tiny, microscopic nature of a cell, this lower area of the skin might as well be 100 miles down. Relative to the size of the cells, the lower layers of the skin are way, way deep. 
And where a scar is, is in this dermal area, in the lower areas of the skin. And by the way, a scar is a protective mechanism. And while it may look unattractive to some people, in some cultures, scars are actually considered attractive and something people do intentionally. Once a scar is formed, it's not going away. It's the way the body's protecting itself. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. Thanks for joining us. Our number today is 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you, and we'll get your calls here just momentarily. Try to get you, uh, try to get some calls in before we go to our break. So we're talking about, uh, we're talking about mederma and scars and acne and ways that you can protect yourself from scars. It isn't going to be mederma. Even mederma, the commercials and the copy themselves, them itself tells you that mederma will only soften your scar. It will only make your scar appear better, look better, whatever that means. But the only reason we buy into this stuff is because we don't really, the true nature of the skin is somewhat hidden. We don't really see the skin. And by the way, if you do, if you're afraid of getting a scar, the time to uh, the, the time to really take care of your scar is while it's forming or while your wound is healing. And the best thing you can put on a scar is vitamin C, topical vitamin C, fatty vitamin C, lipophilic vitamin C. Some people use vitamin E on a scar. Forget it. That's not going to work. Uh, dermatologists will use silicon on a scar. That ain't going to work. Uh, as I said before I went to break, a scar is actually a protective mechanism. A scar is a way that the skin protects itself. In other words, the skin, and this is really one of the really cool things about the body, is that when it's under duress or under stress, it will actually get stronger and better. The bo a bone will heal uh, as stronger at the point of the break than the rest of the bone. What's that about? Well, it's the body sensing or the cells understanding that that area is somewhat fragile or, or susceptible to stresses and it will make that area stronger. That's what a scar is. If you ever heard the saying that a bone is stronger at the point of a break, you understand a scar. A scar is the skin's version of a bone being stronger at the point of the break. There's more connective tissue. There's more collagen in the scar. That's what makes it look like a scar. But we don't really understand the skin because it looks inert. It looks like just a covering. We're not going to understand how to address scars or anything else. And this kind of exploitation that is represented by Mederma, and I don't like calling out companies by name, but these guys deserve it. Uh, this kind of exploitation and sophistry and sneakiness when it comes to skin health and health in general, really, not just skin health, it can only occur in a milieu in an environment of misunderstanding. And this kind of misunderstanding and subsequent exploitation that inevitably follows misunderstanding is behind how we deal with the unpleasant and, and even traumatic skin condition called acne. No one ever has to have acne. Nobody. Acne is a sign that cells are growing out of control in combination with oil, excess secretion of sebum, Cells growing out of control, that means nutritional deficiency. That also means cortisol and stress. Same with oils. Skin oils, uh, excessive skin oils mean the body is under duress. It's a reflection of the secretion of stress hormones. Oily skin, cells growing chaotically, these are all signs that something is wrong. Either something's missing, and I'm talking physically here. I'm not talking mental or emotional, spiritual, which all need to be addressed. But from physically, physical perspective, if you're breaking out, something is missing or something is getting into the body that shouldn't be there. And when I say something's missing, I'm talking the mighty 90 essential nutrients or something's getting into the body that shouldn't be there. It's one or the other or both, combination thereof. This is such good news for acne sufferers because it means that the skin disease called acne can begin to reverse itself immediately. Immediately. And because skin cells turn over so rapidly, within four to eight weeks, you got new skin, acne can be gone forever within a month or two. Forever. Never have to have any traces of it. Simply by adding correct nutrition and eliminating problematic foods. And we're going to spend a lot of time, the uh, next few weeks anyway, talking about good nutrition for the skin and good nutrition for acne. In our last program, we talked about vitamin A, 
That is the skin's most important nutrient, arguably the skin's most important nutrient. There's another one that's important too, but for now we'll say it's the most important nutrient or one of the top two nutrients for the skin. And by the way, the eyes are also very, uh, the eyes are a type of skin. The surface of the eye is a type of skin and the eyes also depend on vitamin A. Vitamin A deficiency is associated with eye problems. So the eyes, the skin, they depend on vitamin A for their health, and so does the immune system, the defensive system, which involves inflammation. So vitamin A is anti-inflammatory. It's pro-immunity. Vitamin A is known as the immune system vitamin. The, the anti, when I say immune system, that's anti-inflammation, the immune system supporting vitamin. All the secretions of the body depend on vitamin A, including digestive juices and tears, and the mucus that lines the esophagus, the throat area, as food slips down into the digestive tract. And vitamin A is the most important cell growth controlling vitamin. It keeps cells growing at just the right pace. Not too fast, not too slow. In order to understand the importance of vitamin A and why it's so important for the development of pimples and blemishes, and to, uh, what accounts for its really medicinal effects, its healing effects when it comes to addressing acne, we've got to talk about what a pimple is. The mythology around the treatment of acne and the fact that people think that the results they get from proactive type products, uh, benzoyl peroxide, etc., cuts to the heart of how, uh, why and how we're bamboozled by skincare companies and products on such a large scale, on a billion dollar scale. When we look at the skin, we don't see the reality of what's happening. The skin is multi-layered and we don't see it. That means that we miss a very important distinction that we can work with, the fact that there's layers. There's a surface layer, which is very difficult for stuff to penetrate. That's the purpose of this surface layer. It's like a thin fingernail on the top of your skin. And this microscopically thin fingernail will keep things from getting into the lower areas. And this is very important. If we're going to leverage and exploit the, the properties of our skincare products, we've got to figure out how to get past that surface, that fingernail-like surface. The skin is also made up of multiple parts. It's mosaic. It's made up of distinct working components. Each component, each part represents a potential target for activation. If you look at the skin and you don't see that, if you look at the skin and you just see this stuff, this covering, you're not going to be able to really exploit or take advantage of all the stuff that's going on in the skin. There's cells in the skin that make collagen. There's cells in the skin that keep uh, the skin from uh, wrinkle-free, that keep the skin taut and youthful. There's moisture-trapping molecules that keep the skin hydrated. There's blood vessels that can be induced to uh, increase nutrient delivery and oxygen delivery and detoxification. But unless we get a sense for the multiple components that comprise the skin, we're going to miss out on an opportunity to return or restore the skin back to health. And if it's already healthy, we're going to miss an opportunity to give the skin an extra jolt of health. And when it comes to acne, the most important distinction that, uh, that we need to make is the distinction where, uh, that involves how a pimple forms. And this is the pore. We've got to understand the skin pore. If we, don't, if we don't understand what a skin pore is, or if we don't address a skin pore, we're not going to be able to treat acne. Because acne is a, it's a skin issue, obviously, but it's a pore issue. Acne begins in the skin pore. Every square inch of, of your skin has 700 or so different pores. And understanding how to address the pore and understand what a pore really is, is really important if you're going to be able to treat acne effectively. We'll talk about that tomorrow as we continue our discussion on skin health and acne specifically. We'll be doing that for the next couple of weeks. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit our phones. Let's take our first phone call. Go to Pennsylvania and welcome Mindy to the Bright Side. What's up, Mindy? Good morning. Well, thank you so much for uh, taking my call. You mentioned the Nutribullet and said that you hadn't really done much research on that. You've used the Vitamix, and I love my Nutribullet. It's you do. wonderful. I want you to tell us all about it, So, uh, but we got to take a break. Can you hang on through the break? I sure can. I'd love to hear about the Nutribullet. So thank you so much for, for uh, calling in on that, Mindy. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back with your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. Don't go away. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in purchasing any of the Longevity products, you're advertised or recommended on the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com and 
You can order products directly off the website. You can also go to my blog, pharmacistben.com, which we update regularly with news stories and blog posts. Thank you to Robert Lundgren, who set that up for me. And also, uh, now you can go to criticalhealthnews.com, which is my blog that I'm doing with, uh, with George Norrie of Coast to Coast. And you can order products directly off the website, or you can join the Brightside Ben team directly off of the website as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. Mindy in Pennsylvania, tell us about the Nutribullet. Well, I have the Nutribullet RX, which is their newest one, and it also has a soup cycle, as does the Vitamix, which I love the soup cycle, but I also use it to make my own nut milks. I no longer buy almond milk at the store, and I use it a lot for smoothies, and it's just I'm not not a hired gun for Nutribullet. I am just a natural health advocate because of my own story, which is on my website. I used to spend 12 to 18 hours a a day in bed with fibromyalgia and have my life back, and I'm very grateful. What'd you do? Well, don't. Don't run away. What'd you do? Tell us about that. Uh, Lots of things. Um, Diet, lifestyle changes, um, massage, Christian EFT, chiropractic care. Wow. Wow. How'd you you just did red sauna? I don't hear drugs anywhere there. I don't hear doctors anywhere there. I didn't hear Lyrica or Prozac. That's what they give you now for fibromyalgia, antidepressants, because they think you're depressed. That's pretty cool. Good for you. Now, what's your website? Why don't you give that a plug? Hello? Oh, I was getting all into that. Did we lose Mindy? Mindy, call back. I'm not sure where you went. Oh, Mindy. Oh, Mindy, that's too bad. How, are I'm you there, here. Mindy? I'm here. <laughs> okay. Tell Hear us your me? website. Yes, I do. I was getting all into your, into, <laughs> into of, your conversation. Out of sight. It's out of sight ministries, and that's plural, out of sight ministries.com. And I actually was on antidepressants for 12 years, and by the grace of God and other natural means, I'm off of them. I love lithium orotate. I have a video testimonial that if anybody wants, they can contact me. It's not actually on my site. Um, that's and awesome. Anybody, out of sight ministries. Is it a Christian organization, or is it, or you say ministries it, for nutrition? It is, but it, well, it's, I'm a vocalist, narrator, blindness educator, and natural health advocate, so I Man, do multiple things. you um, sound awesome. Christian Why are you, and non-Christian. Are you blind? I am, and if anybody uh, wants to know more, they can go to my website, but they can also, I also have a toll-free number if anyone has questions. I don't have a degree in natural You don't need health, a degree. You available. don't need a degree. You, it sounds like you know what you're talking about. I'm so honored you're listening to my program, too, by the way. That's awesome. I love your program. I appreciate it. I can be Thank reached you. at 844 mindy 855 mindy and you... 844 mindy Eight four 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 five Mindy. Is that correct? You got it. Eight four four four. Have you been blind for life? Did were you born blind or, or did you have I an accident? I was born blind. I have no vision, and um, God has been so good to me. At one point, I was ready for Him to take me home because I was depressed and in pain, and now I just have so much to live for, and I just really want to help people. So. Oh man, you're awesome. I am so honored that I have yeah. quality listeners like yourself. That is really a cool story. So the nutri- you recommend the Nutribullet? Does it? Does it? Uh, it, it you get the fiber, right? When, uh, that's correct. When you grind you the... do, you do. I never wanted to juice because I didn't want to lose the fiber. Right, right. That's why I like the Vitamix. But you, you still get the fiber with the with the Nutribullet. And it, does it grind it up enough so that it, it's juicy, or is it still fibery and pulpy? Your product. Um, I I believe it really grinds. You know, Mindy, we just got a bad connection, and I think you dropped off again. And I'm very sorry for that. But thanks so much for your call. I appreciate it. Um, that was awesome. Thank you, Mindy. Uh, her website, I'm looking at it right now, Out of Sight, Out of Sight Ministries. Uh, thanks so much for that call, Mindy. That was really meaningful. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. What is up, Steve, in VA, Virginia? What's up, Steve? Oh, Hi there. Uh, thanks hey. again. Uh, we uh, were just curious. You know, we've heard uh, various sources mentioning uh, the fact that uh, these vaccines, there's a there's a an effort to um, impose these vaccines on people. Yeah. And, what's that uh, about? Why do they care so much? Why does everybody have to be vaccinated? What's that? What's going on there? Yeah. Well, yeah. That's one has to wonder. One the, uh, I guess uh, further attacks that these uh, people want to want to carry out uh, right. and posing something like that. I mean, are there, um, have you had a chance to, to, to check into any of that? Uh, or check into the, whole, what, the vaccine thing? Yeah, I mentioned that, uh, what maybe people uh, should get ready for or possibly. No, I, I try to stay away from the whole vaccine stuff. I, I'm just very skeptical, put it that way. You know, Steve, here's the thing. 
I'm not saying yay or nay because I don't know. But here's the thing. If we get to a point where we just don't trust our government, that's a problem. If we even suspect that they may not be looking out for us, that they're not, they don't have our best interest in mind, that's a problem. And even if they compel us to do things, even if the government forces us to do things, compels us to do things, makes us under threat of, uh, of penalty of, of losing our freedom or losing money or whatever, if they make us do something, you know, we'll do it, but we'll resent them. We'll hate them for making us do it. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Well, I, yeah. If somebody puts a gun in your face. You're going to do whatever they tell you to do. But it doesn't mean you're going to you're going to appreciate them. And whenever it comes it comes time to screw them, you're going to screw them. And this is the kind of environment that that all of this suspicion engenders. And I don't know yay or nay on vaccines, although I have my suspicions. Uh, but the point is, is that if we even begin to question those in authority and, and we suspect that they don't have our interests in mind, that's a problem. And yeah, we may pay attention, we may listen to what they're saying, and we may follow their orders, but we'll hate them for it. And that's exactly what's happening. You know, you, you ever see those statistics, those studies that come out where they uh, 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 take percentages of people who don't trust the government or percentages of people who vote or percentages of people who participate. You know, you know every once in a while you hear about a, a faith and confidence in Congress and faith and confidence in the president and faith and confidence in, in governmental bodies is like at record lows. What do you think that's about? Yeah, we'll pay attention. We'll, we'll do what you make us do, but we'll hate you for it. We won't trust you for it. We'll, we'll try to screw you at every turn for it. And that's the kind of situation that we have. And it's very, very unfortunate. It's tragic, really. It doesn't have to be that way. We can have a society where, where our, uh, governmental bodies, limited governmental bodies, work in the interests of the people. That's the way the society and the system is supposed to be. It comes to health, and that's my specialty, we don't trust doctors. We don't trust the medical model. We don't trust the paradigm. Why? Because they have a history of screwing people of messing around with people, uh, with people's liberty, with people's freedom, and ultimately, when it comes to health care, messing around with what's near and most near and dear to us, and that's our health. So I don't know yay or nay or vaccines, but I have my suspicions, and I personally wouldn't let anybody inject anything into my body if I didn't absolutely positively need it. Those flu vaccines are especially ridiculous, by the way. I, yeah. I, I don't know if I answered your question there, Steve, but, but that's my take on it. Is, is there yeah. anything, else you want, anything else you want to uh, ask? Well, no, that, that's, I uh, appreciate your answer. I just, uh, the religious, uh, you know, we've been able to use the religious exemptions, many people in the past, uh, as a way to not have to uh, receive vaccines. And uh, I think that uh, there's the effort to try to, uh, to have a situation where, we, you know, we can't use those. Too. Well, now now they're making people sound wacky if they don't want vaccines. The, the anti-vaccine movement, they call it. You know, and, uh, yeah. now they're they're making you sound like you're some kind of nut job because you don't want somebody injecting a poison into your body, a virus into your body. Yeah. I'm telling you. All right, got to move, Steve. Thanks so much for your call. Say hi to Rose for me, okay? Oh, thank take, you. God bless. Take care. God bless you as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. Hang tight. If you're on the line, we'll get to you when we come back from our break. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben, your nutritional pharmacist. I use nutrition where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs or want to get off your meds or get on a good nutritional supplement program, our number is 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you in a couple more minutes to speak to you today. If we've left you on hold in the past, now's the time to get on board. Check out my website also, brightsideben.com, and uh, check out the products. The longevity products are all posted at brightsideben.com, or you can also join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $10 fee. You can start a little longevity business and help spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be. 844-236-6010 is our number. Pat in Indiana, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Yes, I'm, uh, my daughter didn't want to call, so uh, she's got this itch that's in her private part. But the more okay. she itch, worse it gets. she urinates, it gets worse and worse. Yeah. And they've given her all kinds of itching stuff, but it don't never help. I was just wondering what could uh, Okay, yes. Now, are you talking inside or outside? Outside. All right. Uh, right on the private parts there? Yeah. Or, or in the skin? Yeah. 
in the skin part, like in the in the thigh area, or on the right on the private parts? Right on the private. Part. Okay, that's a sign that there's something percolating in there, and because it's right on the private parts, it could be a topical issue or an internal issue, and I can't tell you. Uh, although I would, my hunch would be that it's an internal condition. Uh, look for what you want to do, Pat, is you want to look for other symptoms, other things going on. It's very rare that you'll have a topical skin condition without having any other problems. If indeed you do have perfect health, which is unlikely, and you just have a skin problem, then you're looking at something irritating from the top. And this is why it's important to find uh, other symptoms so you can distinguish whether this is a skin, a topical condition that's coming from perhaps her clothing that she's wearing or maybe a cleanser or soap or something, or internal. If there's no other, in no other symptoms, then you want to suspect something topical, laundry detergent, soap, etc. This is rare. Usually, there's going to be something else going on, at which point you can start to, uh, uh, you can start to treat the, the, the real cause, but we have to know what else is going on. Usually it involves the digestive system. So what I would ask you is what I ask everybody who has any health problem, but especially skin problem, any digestive health issues, gluten intolerance, food intolerances, food allergies, bowel movement problems, gas, heartburn, gallbladder removal, problems after uh, pain after eating specific foods, sense of fullness, etc. Anything like that? Or do you know? Well, she's she just went. She's got an infection on the inside. Um, can't think of the name of it now. Well, hang on. I'm talking about the digestive system. We'll get to the infection oh, here the in a second. System. Yeah. Anything that you can think of yeah, with she's food. Yeah, having indigestion. And there stuff you like go. That. Bingo. 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 More than likely, they're associated. So what you want to do is you want to start to have her clear the decks. Foods that are eliminate uh, that are uh, causing problems, digestive problems, need to be eliminated. The way you best do this is by doing a food diary because it's hard to remember all the foods you eat and when you ate them and how they're connected to your indigestion or to your skin problems. So write down every have her write down everything she eats and then every, how she feels every couple hours every three or four hours after she eats that food so in other words you say you get a notebook on the left hand side of a piece of paper you write corn or you write oatmeal or you write peanut butter and jelly sandwich or whatever you ate and then next to that how you feel two hours later how you feel four hours later how you feel six hours later how you feel eight hours later all the way up to 12 hours and you keep track of this this is very important not just for her skin problem but if she has a digestive health issue she's breaking down inside too and you're not noticing it so this will help save her life this will help prevent horrible diseases this will help keep her away from prescription drugs and doctors this food diary everybody should be doing it we should all be keeping track of our bodily responses to the foods we eat. Then, uh, once she associates specific foods to indigestion, and she may even notice that specific foods are associated with flare-ups in her itching, in her, uh, in her, uh, uh, her skin condition, or her, her vaginal condition. So she'll, when, when she eats specific foods, she may get a flare-up in her itching. So this will help directly with the skin and will also help with the digestive system, obviously. The second thing you want to do is start to use supplements for the digestive tract. The chief supplement is the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Now, you may have an issue with vaginal or, or uh, uh, reproductive system bacteria. There's bacteria that live in the vaginal area, and that might be a problem. And using probiotic supplement and eating fermented foods can help there also. So make sure she's on the Biolumin Nightly Essence, three in the morning, three at night, and also using fermented foods. Uh, ultimate enzymes, digestive enzymes will help her digest her food. If she has food allergies or food intolerances from incompletely digested foods, that can eliminate that. Use the ultimate enzymes, three or uh, maybe two or three or even four after meals, and always use a little bit of apple cider vinegar with your ultimate enzymes. Last but not least, the Fucoid Z or the Z radical can help provide an environment, a hospitable environment for gut bacteria, probiotic bacteria to live and thrive in, and that can be beneficial as well. So, uh, by Luminightly Essence, Z Radical, or Fucoid Z, do a food diary, apple cider vinegar, and of course, it's always a good idea to use the Healthy Start Pack. It sounds to me, Pat, that your daughter has an internal condition, not a topical condition. If she goes to a doctor, they're going to give her cream, and that's not going to help the problem, even though it may help the symptoms. Okay? I have one other question. Sure. Here. Sure. Uh, my skin is so thin, it just... Ha uh, okay. underneath it and it tears just like oh that's this. not good at all that's not good at all how old are approximately how old five okay all right that's but uh, I that's still not... work and garden and you sound great you sound vital and you sound great and your skin should reflect that so here's what you need to do and we're going to be talking about skin for the next few weeks so you want to keep listening to the bright side but when you say your skin is thinning what you're talking about is not the surface although that might be thinning a little bit as well but for the most part what you're talking about is the lower levels the lower levels are called uh, 
technically in the skin, it's called the dermis, but generically in the body, the lower levels are called connective tissue. You may have heard that term. If you've been listening to this program, you hear it every day almost. Connective tissue is what forms the beef of the body. It's the steak of the body. It's the thickness of the body. It's the density of the body, the whole body. The body has a certain density and thickness to it, and as we get older, that density and thickness starts to be reduced. We start to get thinner, not just your skin. Your blood vessels get thinner. Your bones get thinner thinner. All the systems in the body get thinner and what you're observing in the skin is happening inside the body too. So we want to redensify. We want to thicken things up. How do we do it? Well, first of all, protein is the most important of the thickening nutrients. But if you're not, first of all, you got to get enough protein, but if you're not absorbing your protein, that could be a problem too. So make sure you're increasing your protein. Use the Slender FX, uh, fish protein, meat protein if it's clean meat, um, eggs, wonderful protein, hemp seed protein for vegetarians. Protein is the key to thickening the body up. Uh, but you got to make sure you're absorbing it. That means digestive enzymes with your protein, apple cider vinegar with your protein, anything you could do to improve the digestion or the absorption, the utilization of that protein is going to be in your interest. So uh, liquid protein will also help. So smoothies and soup, chicken soup with cartilage in it, with the bones in it, very important for thickening or redensifying the body. Vitamin C is the most important vitamin when it comes to building connective tissue. Without vitamin C, you can't build connective tissue. And the disease that's caused by vitamin C deficiency scurvy is a connective tissue issue primarily. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're getting enough vitamin C. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine will get you 1,000 milligrams uh, per day. So make sure you're sipping on your BTT all day long. You may want to get a little bit of extra vitamin C also. Uh, uh, maybe another 1,000 milligrams a day of vitamin C. Zinc is also very important. Make sure you're using 50 milligrams a day of zinc. You have to go to the health food store and get zinc picolinate. P-I-C-O-L-I-N-A-T-E. And then of course the entire Mighty 90 Essential nutrients, get on the Healthy Star Pack as well. Last but not least, this is part of the Healthy Star Pack, but I just want to mention it. Essential fatty acids are very, very important for turning on the growth of protein and connective tissue. So lots of strategies there, my dear, but it's not a skin problem you have. It's a beef problem. It's a thickness problem that you have. And don't let anybody bamboozle you into thinking that you just put a skin cream on and you'll take care of that thinness, because that's not how it works. It's an well, internal issue, and you got to make sure that you're absorbing your nutrients as well as taking them. I'm sorry, go ahead. We was raised on meat and potatoes. Well, that's, oh, that's not a bad thing necessarily, but you got to make sure you're absorbing also. I'm not sure if I'm absorbing it. Yes, you might not be. It's 75. Make sure you take your meat and potatoes or you eat your meat and potatoes with digestive enzymes, the ultimate enzymes, and some apple cider vinegar as well, okay? Okay, I will. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. God bless you. Okay, uh, you know, I hate to do this to you, Rose, but we only got about a minute. What's up, sweetheart? How you doing? Yes, uh, I just wanted to let you know uh, if the audience is interested, you know, because of this situation of vaccines that's been imposed and like in California is already um, in defense of humanity is the show and uh, the anticorruptionsociety.com. That's a, a website. Anti-corruption, anticorruptionsociety.com. Yeah. And you can, they can get the paperwork to protect themselves. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Rose. I appreciate you sharing that with us. God bless you as well. We'll talk to you again soon. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my website, brightsideben.com, or my blog, pharmacistben.com, and you can sign up and join the Brightside Ben team, or you can call the phone team directly at 866-735-2470. Tomorrow, we'll continue talking acne and skin care and skin health. We'll talk about nutrients you can use for dealing with, uh, dealing with acne and dealing with skin health in general. And uh, that's it. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to y'all later, folks. Bye for now.